Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Last time we left off, we heard the entire truth from... What's his name? Uh, Storyteller, or, or author, Cantabella, along with Eve Belduke, or Darklaw. And it's like, yep, things were kind of jacked up, you know, all for the sake of her, but then, you know, we know her revenge now, and... Now we're going to hear the very last interrogation, the very last uh, testimony for his trial, apparently. The truth about the legendary fire. Espella wanted to ring the bell, so no matter what, so he went to the belfry. Let me move my microphone a little bit, because it's kind of far. Okay. The festival celebrations have already started. The mechanism for ringing the bell is at a height even we could reach. The next thing I remember is coming to and running to Espella's side. I was shaking her until she finally opened her eyes. The next moment, we saw that nightmare's view. Old strength abandoned us, and we didn't know what to do. That was when we were found by my father, Mr. Cantabella. The bell could only be rung for a special mechanism. That's right. It was made in such a way that even a child could use it. It was probably constructed by my father. I suppose he wanted to make it possible for anyone to ring that bell. In light of the events that followed, that was clearly a very foolish decision. A mechanism for ringing the bell. I noticed something like that on a pillar when we went to the belfry earlier. I better make a note of it in the, in the court record. Top floor device. So device for ringing the bell, a ruin, even a child could use it. Okay. Oh dear. Fate could certainly be cruel. I have to agree. If only we had not discovered those ruins, and brought that bell to, the, to our town. Or if only we could have dis deciphered those ancient writings a little earlier. Moreover, if only the groundwater in this area didn't cause that strange condition. Unfortunately, Mr. Cantabello, the tragedy occurred. All that remains for us to do is to seek out the truth. Now, f not for the sake of vengeance, but for the sake of the future. Mr. Wright? Um, yes? You have been fighting fiercely to uncover the truth. This is the final interrogation. I trust you know what to do. Leave it to me. To be honest, I have no idea what lies ahead. But whatever it is, there's no question that we need to get to the bottom of it. There's gotta be light at the end of this tunnel. Gots to be. Gots to be. Alright. Uh, so, I don't know what I can present on. I, can, I think I can press on a few things. Uh, we're starting. Keep our side, shaking your... Okay, so, you, so the next thing you remember, you just come to and running to a spell side. Okay, let's press on that. Hold it! Do you mean that you fell unconscious after a bell was struck? Yes, I believe so. A particular condition causes an instant reaction. The brain properly doesn't even have the time to register the sound before consciousness is lost. It was almost as if a slice of time had been stolen from my life. When I opened my eyes, I was lying on the floor. I lifted my head and saw a spell lying nearby. I sprang to my feet and ran to her side. And what about the situation at town at the time? I was preoccupied with the spell, so I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it to begin with. And at that time, was the spell still unconscious? Yes, I panicked a little and took her in my arms, hoping she'd wake up. Okay, being a good friend, shaking her to she only opened her eyes. Next moment, she saw nightmare for you. Let's press on this. Hold it. So it was you who woke, woke a spell up, witness? Yes, it was me. She was out cold, curled up on the floor, until I shook her awake. As soon as she came to, she turned to look at me, to that nightmare's view stretching out before us. When you say nightmare's view... I can find no other words to describe it. We froze in terror at the sight. It took us a while to notice that smoke was creeping up on the bell tower, too. Our eyes filled up with tears and we couldn't stop crying, perhaps because of the smoke. The town seemed like a fire dragon's playground. I was trembling with terror unlike anything I've known before. Dear me, really a magic it now raises the hairs of my beard. <laughs> ok, 
Okay. All strength abandoned us, and we didn't know what to do. This is when we were found with my father, Mr. Cantabella. Okay. Hold it! You didn't leave a belfry until their arrival? Of course not. We were paralyzed with fear. It was an event so traumatizing, it still haunts us. The spell fainted again when she saw the fire dragon. I was crying and wailing until our fathers found us. We went to the bell tower, as if it was a good vantage point. We weren't, we weren't expecting to find our daughters there. Of course, I was expecting at that point that the disaster had been caused by the Bell of Ruin. Eve was in tears, sobbing violently. As for Espella, she was in a daze. Her face frozen in an expression of disbelief. She didn't know what was happening around her. I cannot say this was certain with certainty, as my memory is a little vague. But I think I was trying to protect her. Wait. Oh, storyteller. Hang on! Mr. Cantabella? I remember that very well. As if it happened yesterday. Uh, Cantabella? Well, that's a new thing from Eve. Would you mind telling us what you saw? Eve! Espella! Are you alright? Daddy! Daddy! Eve! What on earth happened here? It was Bazella! Bazella the witch! But uh, Bazella? What are you talking about? Bazella comes out whenever someone rings the bell, right? What well, what have you done? You didn't Oh please, Mr. Cantabella! Don't be angry! Bazella! Eve said it was a, a ugh, Eve said it was a most serious look on her face. Please, Mr. Cantabella, don't be angry at her. When she said that, I grasped I grasped the situation. I realized what had transpired in the Belfry. And I thought to myself, what a wonderful world. I mean, I must protect these children. Eve Eve <sighs> So sorry, Eve. Espella. Espella. Sweetheart. Sweetie. Dad, please forgive me. You've done all this for me. Espella, you're with us again. All this for me. Well, well. At last, it would appear we are one step away from the truth. Professor! You seem to already know what the truth is. Do I? That remains to be seen. Continue the interrogation, and we shall all know soon enough. Very well. The court agrees with Inquisitor Layton. Witness, continue your testimony. As you wish. Okay, so what's good by doing what we just did, now, um, Espella is, um, is awake. She's, she's no longer, uh, you know, Possessed. Now let's see if we can press this again and press other things to see if maybe we can hear something new from a spell at this time. I don't know if I'm gonna hear anything here, but it's worth a shot. Um. Okay, so nothing there. So what was this one? Okay, how about this one? It's still talking about how she saw the view, her nightmares view. Little oh, Spella. This was me, I'll curl. Ugh, how cold. Uh. Ooh, there we go! Hang on! Excuse me, Espella? Espella, are you okay? Y yes! Everything's fine. My apologies for bringing back such troubling memories. Nevertheless, you must en endeavor to face them and overcome the power they hold over you. Yes, I... I remember it now. The fire dragon. I summoned... because I'm Bazella. No, Espella, it was just an illusion! No! You're wrong, Dad. It wasn't an illusion, it was a fact! If I hadn't rung the bell, none of this would have happened. 
The Zell is a bringer of disaster, and that's what, what I've done to, to our town. Yee! The accused runs away! Quick, after her! She's running to the bell tower! Darn it! She locked herself in! It's no use! We'll have to break down the door to get in! Ah, that girl! She's gone in... Uh, herself! Stay away from me! I didn't realize all those guys were talking. Isbella! Isbella, be careful! It's dangerous up there! Please, Isbella! Come, come down! I'm sorry, everyone. I... I have no right to be here anymore. Nick! Isbella's gonna do something crazy! I... I can see that. What the heck can I do? Isbella, please do not make any hasty decisions. Mr. Layton! The truth is close now. Be brave for a little while longer. The truth? As if it wasn't clear already. If I hadn't rung that bell, everyone, everything would have been fine. Objection. You may be mistaken. You still don't know the whole story. Huh? Isn't that so, Mr. Wright? Uh, I had the same feeling when I was listening to Eve's testimony. I felt something was not right. Really? I thought that was pretty much it. The pieces of the puzzle that don't yet, yet fit are themselves the hints of the solution. N no way! You mean Isbella didn't ring the bell? What? Nonsense! Of course she did! As it stands, it's hard to say for sure that she didn't ring the bell. However, we've got evidence that will clear any doubts. Show us the so-called evidence you claim to have seen. Uh, claim to have that. What do you think proves the spider didn't ring the bell? That she didn't do it? Um, I have a feeling it's probably gonna be the, this because we just we just got it. A device for ringing the bell of ruin, even a child can use it. I'm kind of leaning towards this, but I'm not sure I'm thinking about it right. Because I don't think any any other. All this other evidence doesn't really make sense for us. I think it's this. Take that! Isbella, can you hear me? Yes! Where you're standing now is the same spot where you saw the fire dragon. Yes, that's right! Oh, and the mechanism is up there. Okay. This fretwork here is the same as what I saw that day. When I look at it now, it seems so small. Even adorable. Defense! What does this have to do with anything? As you will no doubt recall, Mr. Cantabella told us that people who drink the groundwater here suffer from a condition. A condition where they fall unconscious the moment they hear the sound of pure silver. After the bell sounded, you recover consciousness sooner than a spell. You ran to her side and shook her awake. As soon as she opened her eyes, she saw the fire dragon. In other words, if it, if it was a spell who rang the bell, that would mean the device from, uh, for ringing the bell must be very close to the fretwork of the dragon. Isbella, can you please check that for me? See if the contraption is located near a dragon fretwork. Um, okay, give me a minute. Mr. Wright! Isbella, did you find it? I don't know if it's the right thing, but there's something on the other side of the belfry. A contraption of a handle. What? On the other side? That's right. I figured there was something weird when she went up to the bell tower, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. No. No way! You see where I'm going with this, don't you, Miss Belduke? If it was the Spella who rang the bell... There's no way she could've... she could've seen the fire dragon when she woke up! Ah! No! 
No! This can't be right! Make excellent deduction, Mr. Wright. Miss Darklaw. It seems everything is now clear as day. What? What do you mean? Why, of course. I mean the answer to the question of who rang the bell. It was her. It had to be. What do you say, Mr. Wright? Mm, no. It looks like we're arrived at the same conclusion. We now know that only one person could have done done it. Wait! What good will saying it out loud do? Is there a problem, Mr. Cantabella? It wasn't your daughter who rang the bell. Should that, should that not lift some burden off your shoulders? Are you not curious to know the name of the true culprit who had pinned the blame on your daughter all this while? <clears throat> How would you stop taunting us? Just say the name already! Who is this true culprit? Let's do it, Professor. Are you ready? I'm always ready, Mr. Wright. It's time to see things straight. The person who rang the bell is... Find out next time! God, I really, really wish I can do that right now, but... I'm not. Actually, no, I don't... I don't know how much longer is left in this video! Or, like, in the, in the game. This would be a perfect spot to end. This really would. <sighs> Ugh. Dang it. Me contemplating whether or not to end the episode is going to drive me nuts. Screw it, I'm going to continue. It has to be no other than Darklaw. Who else is going to be up there? Have a look. It's you, Eve Belduke. Me! But... There were only the two of you in the Belfry at that time. You know that better than anyone. And as it wasn't the Speller who rang the bell, it had to be you. That's preposterous! It can't be true! It was an extremely tra traumatizing event for both you and the Speller. Your friend's memories were altered from the shock without her even realizing it. She believed she was a witch who rang the bell and summoned a dragon, which incinerated the town. However, Miss Belton, Miss Bella wasn't the only one whose memories were warped by the horrors you two witnessed. You were affected as well. No. It wasn't me. Miss Bella, she rang the bell. It was her, not me. Why? What are these flashbacks? I've never... I've never had these before. one you said you wanted to come and ring the bell. I did, but I... changed my mind! Hey? After coming all this way? Oh. Who?
That nightmare was too much for two young girls to take in. Your young minds needed to protect themselves. That's why you subconsciously repressed those memories. Then, if that's true, for the past ten years, I've been pinning the blame for what I've done on Espella. It can't be. It can't be true. It's impossible! Ah! Dark Loss just disappeared! She's donned the invisibility robe. I think who's the dog though? She's run away! But did you hear that? It was her that wants to destroy the town! Our lives have already been messed up so much! We don't need this now! She's gonna pay for what she did! Capture her! Oh, Nick! Look at the bell tower! The spell is gone! No! She's on the roof! I beg you! Don't blame Eve! It really doesn't matter anymore who rang the accursed bell! This town was all created for me! It's my fault you've all been used and suffered so much! Espella, what do you say? Please, come down right now! You haven't done anything wrong! It was all my fault! Dad, I know that you did this for me. You've been so kind to me, and what did I do? I selfishly ran away from home. Espella? I will finish your story for you. The evil witch will be gone forever, and everyone will live happily ever after. Dad, thank you for everything you've done for me. Wait! Don't do it, Espella! holding on to is rotted through. We need some sort of magic to save them. No way! Magic, you say? Got an idea, Professor? If a bit of magic is all that's needed to save these two young ladies, then perhaps that is something I can arrange. What? You can? Sorry, I'm just a little confused here. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. Um, Alright, so what's going on here? Anyone? 
Professor! You're a sorcerer! <laughs> no, Miss Faye. We have already established that magic doesn't exist, even in this town. But then, how did you just do that? What you have just seen... ...was the last and greatest illusion within Labyrinthia! Huh? An illusion? Magic is but an illusion, and this illusion has been produced to power the suggestion in Labyrin Labrellum's medication. Everyone in Labyrinthia has seen un under this particular magic spell. Now then, shall we break the spell? Magic is the last mystery to be solved. You've seen through all my tricks lately. I wouldn't have done it without the, without the vital hint you gave me when we spoke in your tower. The final spell is concealed at the start. Okay, so what does that even mean? As you know, all the spells are listed within this book. Right, the Grand Grimoire! Now, what did Mr. Cantabella mean by the start? The front cover? Precisely, Mr. Wright. The final spell shall dispel the illusion. The correct incantation is hidden on the front cover itself. Well then, Mr. Wright. This is the final puzzle. Soon, a new day will begin for the townspeople. Let us put an end to this illusion. Once and for all. Yeah! Yeah, guys! Yeah! Yeah! Puzzle 70, the final spell, North 90, mother effing piggerats! We'll do it in the finale of Let's Play Professor Lane vs. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney! Yes! Because I have a feeling that's, that's, that's what's gonna happen, because I think we're right there. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.